it's kind of carried throughout the generations where it's kind of like, stick through it, be strong, stop complaining. Um, but, you know, like I tell people, we've been strong for over 500 years now. So that that's not the issue. We know we can be strong. You know, can we be vulnerable? Can we put ourselves in a place of healing? Um, it's the real question. So yes. I think now, you know, with that stigma, just kind of, um, you know, transporting throughout the generations and, you know, people are really trying to take a, a chance at it now, take a stand and make a difference. Um, it's making a difference uh, within within our within our lives and how we function. Um, I was um, at a school the other day, um, and one of the bus drivers was having, I think, a panic attack. Um, and but she had her her daughter with her on the bus, and the daughter was at least under ten years old, and so she was just kind of like scrambling, didn't know what to do, things like that in that case of emergency. Um, and so when I saw her that following week. Um, she was okay. She had to go to the hospital and stuff like that, but she could not drive the students. Um, the panic attack, you know, um, it was unmanageable and it, it caused her to not be able to do her job. Um, I'm sure she didn't think that it was was gonna do all that, but you know, not taking care of your mental health when it when it's, you know, your body is telling you to, it has different effects. Um, and, and so, like I said, she wasn't able to perform her job that day. But when she was when she came back that next week, she was OK. Um, and I told her, you know, I'm like, you know, girl, this is not the 1950s, girl. You got to take a break. You got to take your vacation. You have to step away when you need to. And she was um, she was really she was just laughing and just happy that she was OK. Um, and her daughter was like, yeah, mom, it's not 1950s. <laughs> you got to take a break. So she was able to tell us about her upcoming vacation and things like that. But I was really happy to see her taking time for herself um, and the things that her daughter would benefit from that as well, seeing that her take that lead for her health um, is something that hasn't been done in the black community a lot whatsoever. It's just work those hours, forget the vacation days, you'll be okay, just work through it. Um, and so I think now, you know, with the stigma, being a, becoming aware of it and becoming aware of what our bodies are telling us, um, you know, has become more normalized. It's not all the way there, but I do think that, um, you know, having that that awareness, having that education out there has been very helpful. Um, besides the stigma, um, I think one of the things is about presentation and how you look when you have a mental illness. Um, you know, you don't have to be crazy uh, to be able to go talk to someone. Everybody deserves somebody to talk. We, we, we didn't all make it here by ourselves. Exactly. Um, and so I think kind of normalizing just regular those mental health conversations when you are stressed, when you, you know, whether it be from family, work, financial, having those conversations at home um, around your support system uh, where you're not told that you're weak you know, or, or, or you're not um, adequate enough just because you're having a hard time. Um, I think that that has been a big thing for the black community as well. Yes, yeah, I think vulnerability is attributed to innocence. Actually, yeah. it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable. It does, it really does. It, um, are your services rendered in person or is it um, like via Zoom? Um, so both. Um, okay. So if you're in the, the local Houston area or if you are near uh, one of our available coaches in a different city, we're, we're definitely being very flexible with that um, just due to the, you know, the rise in COVID. Uh, some people have a preference for telehealth versus in-person, um, but we do offer both. Yes. You guys have any events coming up? Um, so that's a great question. <laughs> so we, um, this past uh, June 26, we had our first launch party. It was amazing. Um, the amount of support we received from the community has been just undying. And it's, <clears throat> we still on cloud nine uh, from that event, from that yeah. support. Um, and so we have um, a couple of events coming up um, as far as like back to school giveaways um rallies and things like that around domestic violence and suicide um in the youth 
since they are definitely taking the uh, the statistic right now, um, unfortunately. Um, but but we do have some events as far as like back to school giveaways um, and things like that coming up. Our next event we're definitely planning for, um, and it'll probably be next year. Okay. Um, it will definitely be a, a huge community event, and we're definitely willing to definitely have you, you guys there as well. We would love to be there, definitely. Uh, on your social media, you talk a lot about self-care, and I think that's wonderful because that's, I think, what we need, you know, more of. Most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's different when you you don't grow up when you're not nurtured in that environment that encourages self-care and self-love. Um, so I know for a lot of millennials um, and the generation before uh, us, it's now it's kind of so like unlearning um, lessons that we were taught um, about just kind of push through, you know, put others first, that type of thing um, to find exactly who we are and actually what do we like? And, you know, what makes us happy? What do we don't like? Um, so I think it's a lot of unlearning and learning right now um, when it comes around, like when it comes to self-love and self-care. Um, and then I think some people too um, just kind of hear self-care and it's like, what? Okay, well, I'll go get my nails done or I'll go exercise. And it's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that because y'all like keep my nails done. Um, but I think that there's different realms to it when we when we talk about self-care, where we whether we're talking about occupational self-care, uh, whether we're talking about environmental, um, family-wise, there's different pieces to it. Um, just like there's different things um, in our life that we have to kind of take care of when it comes to responsibilities. Um, so I, I definitely encourage everyone to step outside their comfort zone. Um, if you've been practicing like maybe the same self-care routine, uh, maybe for maybe six to nine months, um, I definitely challenge you to step outside your comfort zone and try something new as well. It's nothing wrong with keeping your routine, um, but definitely I encourage you to just, you know, just step outside your comfort zone. You never know what you'll find outside of that as well. That's, that's great advice. Thank you. Oh, um, sure. How do, you, if someone is interested in your organization services, how do we reach out to you? Yes, most definitely. Um, so there's a couple of ways to reach out to us um, and we'll respond back on either anyone that you reach out through. Uh, so we do have social media um, everywhere from Twitter um, to Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook page um, that you can just kind of go in and check out content. Um, and also request services on there as well. Okay. But we also have a private uh, Facebook group. Um, and it's, it's, everything is called the same thing, Black Millennials Mental Health. We will be the only one that pops up. Um, and so you can request to be a part of that private Facebook group. And we're just in there just talking about everything around mental health. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not formal or anything. You can just come in there and just show up and be yourself. Um, and and we'll, we'll accept you and, and we'll have a good time. Um, yeah. And lastly, our website, uh, which where you can find our uh, to sign up for our services, uh, to shop our merchandise, um, or to um, just receive community resources. We have a lot of resources on there, um, whether it be social, community, um, sexual, whether it is um, orientation, whatever whatever you're looking for, we we have those resources there, and we're always adding resources um, as we come in contact with them as well. Um, and so our website is www.bmmh.org, which stands for Black Millennials Mental Health, um, and then there you can find a lot out uh, about us, our mission, our vision. Um, and also, if you're looking to collaborate or you want to do some events together, we also have a contact page for that as well. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Well, those are all my questions. Thank, cool. thank you so much, Kelly, for taking the time today to uh, chat with us. And uh, thanks so much. Uh, no problem. Thank you for having us. <laughs>